Hey everyone, happy Friday. So this is week 24, COVID Reflections. Uh, missed a few of the last week, so apologies for that. Schedule got the best of us. Uh, but we're back. I want to talk about three things um, as we end the week here. Um, first, if you're following us on social media, um, last night we posted it, um, information about a film called Black Boys, um, which was streaming last night on Peacock, and I think still today, Peacock, the new... Uh, streaming system that people are watching nowadays um, I think will be released on more platforms over the next few weeks um, but essentially is a really important documentary that discusses and analyzes how racism and injustice affects black males in our country um, and many black males of course focused in and have um, part of the public education system so a really important um, documentary to to us and our work and hopefully those of you that are tuning in um, to this podcast or this video, we'll check it out. Also, Sharif El Meki, um, who will feature on the podcast soon, but we've done work with and is doing incredible work in Philadelphia and across the country, is featured in that documentary, as well as a school he used to um, operate and run, um, Shoemaker in, in Philadelphia. So really important film, I hope you check it out um, wherever you're able to and wherever you can. Um, it's called Black Boys Film. Uh, number two, we also posted um, a really important research from the Center for Education Reform, and they ranked each state um, by kind of the friendliness or effectiveness of their charter school laws. And really important, you know, if you look at the rubric, and we'll link it here below, um, but pretty interesting the way that they've ranked in Arizona was actually the um, best ranked state in terms of charter school laws, which I think was interesting to us for a number of reasons, not something... Arizona is not really a state we think of as like a hot spot or a friendly spot for charters, but I think good to know. So I would encourage you to check that out. Um, and also important that they have four or five kind of line items in their rubric focused on equity. And so how equitable are their charter school laws? Um, are ch charter schools accessible to the most marginalized, under-resourced communities in those states? Um, and a few other interesting factors. So we'd love for you guys to check that out, which we'll link below. Um, if you're checking this on YouTube or the show notes in the podcast um, to see how these laws rank up to what you think and what states um, you are in and listening to as, as well. And I think lastly, of course, if you're listening to this or tuning in on Friday, today is 9-11. Um, so 19 years already since the tragic um, attack on our country. And so would encourage you to, to take a moment of silence today to reflect on hopefully how far we've come as a country, but that um, unfortunate day that happened in our history and kind of where we are now and, and giving thanks to, to our freedoms and our liberties, but also giving thanks and recognizing there's still a long way to go um, in, in our country. So we hope those three thoughts help. Um, we hope you'll check out some of the resources we'll provide. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks.